Alright, so this is a video that will show you how to install a WAD file uh, or WAD file on the uh, homebrew um, here so it'll show up on the main menu like there. So basically what you do is you start by clicking on the homebrew channel, start that up. Uh, don't touch any of this stuff. What you want to do is go over to the right. Uh, go over to the right again. And click on this. It says, yet another WAD manager. Or Y-A-W-M-M. -M. So click on that. You click load. And pay attention here because this you don't actually have to do anything all you do is just press A and then press A again and then press A again and then you're in there so this is the list of files that you'll see you press down on the d-pad and you go to I thought I had Mario 64 on here yeah there it is so you select that with the little arrow thing, press A, and press A again here. It'll install it, that's gonna take a minute. Actually not a whole, maybe one minute. But um, yeah, that's how you do it. And it's done. Uh, so to back out of it, I think you press the home button, yeah, you just press the, the home button here, and it'll take you back here, and you press that home button again, and then you select exit to system menu, or shut down, it really doesn't matter which one you choose, same difference. And when it comes up, you have Super Mario 64. And this is the eShop version that you would download uh, or purchase off the internet. And it will not run without a classic controller or a GameCube controller, but it does not have any graf graphical glitches like the emulator probably would. And there's also Smash Brothers in there as well if you want to install that if you're having issues with that, that ROM uh, uh, as well. So... Let me know if you have any questions, and uh, thanks again. Have a good night.